We're back with a new installment of EV Morning. You know what to do. Grab yourself something hot and settle in for the news. We have a trillion reasons for you to tune in. So stick around for the details. Welcome to the channel. My name is Martin Lee. And if you like what we do here, hit subscribe and the bell icon so you never miss a show. It's been a busy few days over at Elon's place. Let's jump straight into the incredible news. The trillion dollar Tesla stock valuation reaching one trillion dollars. It's a lot of zeros. It comes off the back of a 12% surge in share value and they join a very short list of only six companies now worth upwards of the magic trillion. But why did that surge happen? Let's have a look. Well, the sales team over at Tesla seemed to pick up the phone on the right day to someone from Hertz who said, Hi, can we buy 100,000 Model 3s? Of course, the answer was, no problem. We're not supply constrained or anything. We've got some new factories opening up. We'll get them from there. Whether it's Austin or Berlin or maybe a mix of all of those Shanghai chipping in as well. 100,000 extra cars next year is a huge order for Tesla. It's a massive order that represents their biggest ever, a deal worth $4.3 billion and goes a long way to giving investors more confidence. It also paves the way for orders in a similar vein. Hertz get the added benefit of the association with a brand that so readily piques the public's imagination. And another car rental company will want to get on on the action, I'm sure. The shift to EVs is obvious now, so other companies will want a comprehensive EV offering to keep up with shifting public demand. Oh, I love a good news story, and I love to see EVs hitting the roads in place of combustion cars. The rise of EVs in Europe continues. Overall car sales are way down, dropping just below a million registrations year on year. But the share of plug-in vehicles hit 23% of the market in September in Europe. Huge numbers. Last year it was 12, and a measly 5 before that. Where will it be next year? I can't wait to see. Air quality monitors around Europe are going to be happy. The decline of diesel sales continues rapidly. Couple that with the expansion of clean air zones in some of the big cities like London, bound to be mimicked elsewhere as well. And good news for the air we all breathe. The star of the show in September was the Model 3 from Tesla with 24,500 registrations, 2.5% of the whole market. Now, Tesla does tend to ship its cars in bulk towards the end of the quarter. It's one of the downsides of not having local production here in Europe. So it does somewhat stoke the fire towards the end of the quarter more than it would otherwise. Next, we came across a Peugeot survey which said some really interesting things and it threw up some surprising data. Respondents to the survey showed that the tide is turning on the public perception of EVs. Nearly a quarter of parents, when asked, said they wanted their children to learn in an EV and they want their parents to get rid of their combustion car and drive an electric vehicle. Foxconn has a big EV plan. Here's a story that's been bubbling away quietly in the background for a long time now, but with details emerging very recently, we thought we'd take a closer look. Foxconn, the Taiwanese company, introduced their first EV concepts under the Foxtron brand recently. A very interesting joint venture between Taiwan's largest car maker and the world's biggest iPhone maker. The company reportedly aims to produce vehicles in Latin America, India and in Europe, having deals negotiated with the likes of Stellantis and Fisker already. They're not hanging around. Crucially, they've also been really busy making acquisitions. Where are they going to make these EVs? Well, they purchased a facility from Lordstown Motors in the US and a chip plant in Taiwan. Considering the global shortage of chips, it looks like they're taking steps to secure their supply chain for when time comes to start production. So let's wrap up the show now. There's so much going on in the world of electric vehicles and we want to hear from you now. What caught your attention today? Let us know in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Have a little chat amongst yourselves and I'll join in with the conversation as well. Do you reckon Tesla's now overpriced? Or are we just scratching the surface of their real valuation? And what about Foxconn's EVs? Are you ready to buy a Taiwanese electric vehicle? Are they in a good position to take advantage of their expertise in making consumer goods like, well, iPhones to make a great EV? Thanks so much for watching again today. If you like what we do here, hit the thumbs up icon. It tells us you like the video and we'll make more just like it. And we'll see you on the next one.